Hey friends, it's Kip Icon and welcome to Kip Plays 10 Beautiful Postcards. It says we are proud to invite you to a brand new game for lovers. This is a game made by the Catamites who made Space Funeral and Magic Wand. And I haven't played this game and I've been dying to, but as you all know I've been taking a hiatus from the channel while I work on game development, but I am taking a hiatus from my hi hiatus again because with all the things going on in the world and with, uh, you know, self-quarantining happening and, you know, countries closing down because of the coronavirus, etc., I figured why not have something uh, uplifting and positive and beautiful to watch? And what could be more beautiful than 10 beautiful postcards? <laughs> I already love the way this looks. Okay, list of rascals. We have Mr. Hotel, Pesky. Okay, that must be us. The Fingers, Pin Girl, uh, Singing Fish, Mr. Hostel, another pesty. Oh, it looks like that's just us with like a pie on our face or something, or, or soup on our head, and Crocodiles. Escape is open menu. Okay, ooh, I like that. That's a little uh, Mason Lindrothy. Uh, <laughs> resume is spelled like r resume. I'm the president of the IDGA, fool. <laughs> Now P, I did open this game and test it out, uh, you know, for just a minute, and P brings up these things that stay on the screen that obscure your vision even over the menu, so I'm not gonna press P uh, until I absolutely have to, how about that? Wouldn't you like to live inside of a computer? The qual or this quality entertainment game's for you! Use arrows or waz to move around the areas. You can do it! Heck yes I can. Um, we can go to new game. Load, options, random, lobby, or exit. Um, let's check out the options real fast. The visual configuration, move the cursor until the clown disappears. What cursor? Oh, 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 duh, okay. Move the cursor until the clown disappears. This is just, I wonder if this actually does anything, great. <laughs> yeah, I I don't think that matters at all, actually. Uh, do you want to see this man? No. Uh, N? Oh, there we go. Bye, man. Difficulty settings. There is no difficulty in this game, but if you would prefer some, please come to my house and I will break your legs. Well, look at that. Options aplenty. Um... Well, why don't we just... I was gonna say let's start a new game, but I wanna see what the lobby holds first. Uh, second floor is up here, and we need to... Oh my gosh, what? Okay, we'll do one thing at a time. Which way? What are you doing in my house? There's no house here. Madame. Oh, these doors are... are residences. Don't tell Oranger about all the oranges. Your secret is safe with me. A perfect room. Wait, something's not right. Oh yeah, someone's coming up through a manhole in your living room. I... That's concerning. Pick a Brad. No. Um, where are the Brads to choose from? My friends, you bore me unspeakably. CK, CK, how many Crips did you kill today? Always a good thing to ask. I'm loving the visuals. What on earth is making that sound? Clong, clong, clong. Bah, I'm going to hide inside my closet. Oh. Oompa, oompa, parp, parp. Quiet, we're rehearsing. You guys are great. You're doing great. Oh. Attic attack. <laughs> Calculator's cal calcu hut. I'm Mr. Calculator. Here are some of my favorite equations. 2 plus 6, that's a good one. 14 times 9 minus 2. I haven't heard that one before. And 7 and 7 is love. This is a reference to the song 7 and 7 is love, which is a space funeral reference. Prestigious diploma. You are late. Time for your medical checkup. You know, I will say, by the way, 
Not much of the Space Funeral soundtrack is available on Spotify, although if you own the game, I guess you have the music in the files, but uh, you can check out 7 and 7 is Love on Spotify. I think that's the Game Over song. Prestigious Diploma. You are late. Time for your medical checkup. I don't want a medical checkup. Uh, large eye-like markings ward off any predators. Gelatinous strands, trap flies, and kelp. Pseudopods. That's Epiactus Pescapa. Claws for gripping any kind of carpet. Always, always a good idea. Uh, congratulations, you appear to be some kind of polyp. That's why I went to Polyp Technical. We're, we're leaving that place as fast as we can. Spider is my favorite meal. Um, oh, wow, look at how many different worlds there are in here. This is awesome. Collect the paper clips. Who doesn't love a collectible challenge in a Vigi game? I am a prisoner of my own desires. What? You ate them all? <laughs> am I a stationary cupboard? No, I like to move around. Are you gonna move around or? I'm just going to assume for the sake of my sanity and yours that there's not gonna be anything to find off of the maps, like secrets, because y'all know I'm Kip Icon Secret Hunter. It's what I love to do, but that will probably make us all crazy. Um, I, I've been playing Axiom Verge in my free time lately. Actually, I just finished playing Super Metroid for the first time and I beat it, and that was awesome. Sob, I was kicked out. Oh, poor mouse. Oh no, you need to go to the rehearsal room. Um, I, I, I beat Super Metroid for the first time and I loved it. Hey, it's the egg room! And now I'm playing Axiom Verge, and I looked up a tips section of a walkthrough, and it says, there will never be anything hidden in a save room, so stop searching in the save rooms. And I'm like, you know what? More games need to, s need to have that in their walkthroughs and guides. Because I waste a lot of time doing that stuff. Uh, this eyeball says, rearing the hotels of tomorrow. Can we interact with the eggs or break them? No. Why would I want to do that? I'm a monster. Biomechanical Laboratory. Well, we have beautiful clowns on the wall, and we have Ball with Feet! Ball with Feet! Oh my gosh, have you guys read the Ball with Feet essay that Stephen Gil Murphy, aka the Catamites, put out on their Tumblr, my friend Pokey, or HarmonyZone.org? Well, it's powerful. Listen, at long last, I've discovered the ultimate life form. That sounds like something someone would say in Earth Birth, and I know he didn't make Earth Birth, but... I call it ball with feet. This is a powerful symbol across many cultures. Think of it, the divine uniformity of orb, yet with feet capable of striding athwart this dismal earth. Oh, striding athwart this dismal earth. Does the very concept not fill you with awe and terror? Ah, my life's work. Soon it will be fulfilled. All changed, changed utterly. A ball with feet is born. That looks like Lolo or, or Lala. No, I think Lala has a bow. It is interesting, right, um, how we have in the video game mythos, Ball with Feet. It's a, it's a video, it's a contemporary video game archetype. Up into Window Town. Nice French press. Whoa! What the heck is going on here? Uh, hi, Burb. Cheep, cheep, welcome. This is the Kingdom of the Birds. Ooh, I love this. You look like Drinky Crow, a little bit. Yes, I am. Yes, I built all this. What can I say? I love the beautiful textures. I guess I use the word beautiful uh, loosely. These old ruins are filled with prestige. Ah, I lay on them and wiggle. That sounds appropriate. Ooh, wait, what's this? Is this a secret? Something hidden behind this cloud. In-flight entertainment, I imagine, is what that says. Um, let's see here. I do love this painting. Oh, okay. Our story so far. Roger, a handsome gannet admired by Monique, goes to see Claire, a tall, stately pelican who, unbeknownst to Roger, is also involved with the notorious Black Wing, whose secret something. I have to swoop around again to read the rest of that. Y'all know how great I am with 3D controls. 
uh, a notorious Blackwing whose secret rights within the State Department led to the tragic death of his father, Sir George. I mean, this is a lot of tragedy. I know we're trying to lighten our loads by watching this. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Monique accidentally flies into a window. Yeah, that's tragic for sure. Really love the textures here. And this music is, I mean, certainly music, isn't it? No vacancies in this house. Try go to Stinky Castle. All right, where's Stinky Castle? Is that up here? I think that there's, I see a doorway over there, which is probably our way out of this. Um, can I go in here? Mm. No, okay, I'll stop, uh, I'll stop looking for the hidden things. I say, you know, how many times have I said that so far? And we're just starting? <laughs> okay. Down, down, down. Not very easy to control, as I mentioned. Well, for me, at least. Is this just taking me to someone I've already seen? Hello, can I get some service, please? Okay, well, let's find that door. I think it was over by this tall white building. Love it. Today is Monday that I'm recording this. It probably won't go up until Tuesday. Oh, wait, wait a minute. This blue window, could this be a secret? Could this be? Oh, it might be where I came from, actually, now that I think about it. Oh. Yes, that's where I came from and I can't go back, but there's a green door up here. It's Monday, and as of the past, I don't know, eight months, 10 months, something like that. Every Monday has been Music Monday and I've written a song for the soundtrack for my game and now I have this like pretty extensive soundtrack and you know, I dropped out of music theory in college. It seems so complicated to me, but I wanted to try to write music. And I've gotta say, I've gotta encourage everyone out there, game devs, if you think you have to, um, you know, find the perfect music or something like that. Just give, give it a shot yourself, you know? There are plenty of cool free programs online that you can use. Anyway, we are in the Temple of the Gods. Oh, m the whole point of that is, this Monday instead I'm taking a break to do nothing but video games, and I love that. This room is called the Temple of the Birds, uh, even though it says Temple of the Gods. Hey, Apple is up there. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, sorry, friends. I gotta be careful. I think my screensaver is gonna try to freeze the green, freeze the game. Crom, Apple. These are all characters I think I've heard of before in Magic Wand. Golo. So we have satellite is up, outbound is down there. Ritual. Chi Chi, official location. Well, to work. To uh, to work, work. There is. This is. So I'm a. I have ADHD, and this is. Kind of what my brain looks like at any given moment. Blombi, Rollibus, Ring. I can't come to the phone now as I'm eating my hair. Stupid, take my calls. <laughs> I gotta use that excuse sometime. It's an ancient mural. The gods are outsourcing their telecommunications network to the birds for Q1 savings. Well, Ring, don't you heavy breathe at me. I invented that. Oh, cloud technologies. Uh, which and you to this, what uh, What I yes you want, who is I am which, murmur, 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 murmur. This says, what does this say up here? Um, I'm sorry, Ray, I simply can't be in a relationship right now. Look, when I stand beneath this bubble, I resemble a real person with opinions, and so can you for $14.95. Ugh, capitalism. You blonde. You blonde was clouds race, my your, our their faces. Got some spoken word poetry going on, friends. Embrace clouds for your business usage. Let power of other person's voice be heard. I remember whenever cloud technology was first released and it did seem really scary. We were all like, people are gonna see all my stuff. Okay, load them up, Frank. 
The sky's not a limit. We'll never forget your service. Uh, get in, we're starting launch countdown. Can I really go to space? I can really go to space! No, the question is, where am I? Oh, right in the middle of the screen, great. This music is very space-like, and this moon looks like uh, the Hylix moon, or not the Hylix moon. <laughs> uh, it looks like the Middens moon, but blown to smithereens, kind of. Oh, I, I forgot to mention that this game is only six dollars. Bogey on my tail! Plot Agane Sam. It's only six dollars, so I think it's a great option for people who uh, are not saving money for Animal Crossing and who want something awesome to play while you are uh, social distancing. New location coming soon. I want to go there now, though. I love the mix of 2D and 3D in this game. It's real crusty. <laughs> oh, broadcast station. Increase wallpaper green 150%. Hello, welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to broadcast satellite. Add another toilet over here. Oh, now you can experience hotels in the comfort of your own home. Never again will you have to do without, thanks to the power of software. Transmission incoming. Please connect the the Satel Satelitel model module to your Super Famicom, like the like the Satelaview. <laughs> uh, I, I I don't know anyone who had a Satelaview back in the day. I think that was just in Japan anyway. Just like the real thing. Oh, I can enter. Okay, so this is one of the hotels. I think the goal of this game is to find all of the hotels, but uh, I think in a postmodern game like this, the idea of a goal is uh, not really a necessary question. <laughs> Text not loaded, insert worm and reboot. I love the, oh, wait, let me go back. I didn't, wait, how do I go back? I wasn't done looking at that place. An incredible coup. Due to advances in telecommunication technologies, we are able to talk live with Pesky as she hurls through space. Pesky, what did you think of this hotel? Uh, live from your house. <laughs> oh, it's it's like you can't hear what this the phone is, what the person on the other end of the phone is saying. What? I can't. The hotel, Pesky. What did you think of? Hello? I have a gun pointed at my. Uh oh. You listen, or you listen to the phone. Whisper, whisper. Hmm? What? Well, well, I, yes, very interesting. Well, goodbye. Boop. It's on a day's work for a phone. I have a gun pointed at my, what? Don't bug me. I don't see any guns, Frando. Oh. I'm wondering if when I go through a door, does it just send me somewhere random, or is this actually linking up right. How do these creatures survive without oxygen? I don't know and I don't want to know. Hmm. Nope, that takes me back where I came. So it can't be that random. Body. <laughs> Neat. Uh-oh. I don't know if I like this room. <laughs> where does this water come from? Hmm. I'm getting a little bit of a Yume Nikki vibe to this game, actually. Puddle detected! Stop saying that. Puddle detected! <laughs> Rogo's room is down there. Okay, so I actually can't go through those yellow walls. Out is there. I don't want to do that yet. Get back to work! You get back to work. Take my ball. Life form detected! <laughs> Conspirators welcome. Oh, there's lots of places to go here. Let's check out processing first. Nature Mort Al Crab. Pieter Class. Right on. Oh, whoa, look at this version. Crab Crab, Glasso and Girl Lemon go on an exciting voyage to find Crab Crab's magic star. You must use each person's abilities to get further in the game. Developed by Friends Canyon. <laughs> I love that. 
take a take an, a, an existing work of art and adapt it, interpret it, make it a game. It's awful, yet no law can stop it. <laughs> this public domain art makes perfect content for my vid games career. Oh, I think it's making fun of that idea, actually. Well, I still think it's a good idea. If it, uh, you know, makes sense and comes from a, a good place. Our next step is metric calendar reform. In new society, everyone will have one ball, a bold vision. We're going to take all the balls. Don't do that, please. Don't take all the balls. Leave some for those that need them. What's in the question mark, question mark, question mark? Whoa, it's fashion. Wear my clothes? Oh, I can wear your clothes. Smart. La la. So fancy. Help. Why is the lamp needing help? It's football. Argyle. Argyle. Tasty burger. With fashion, everyone's a star. <laughs> fashion is disconcerting, isn't it? I think at this point in my life, I've just determined that fashion is disconcerting. That's that's where I'm at. <laughs> ah, I'm so luxurious. Yes, you are, friend. Uh, what's in the dining hall? Leak. Well, there's a leak in the dining hall, apparently. And a 3D whale. Oh my gosh. I love this whale. Welcome to my restaurant. Wow, all the stars. Oh, we're in the VIP. Weird, is this like 2D, 3D kind of? It looks like it's warping and skewing in a weird way. No enter. Plates, the lunches. Please go back to your tables. Bread rolls will be bought out soon enough. No, not before dinner. All I wanted was to make fusion cuisine. <laughs> Whoa, wait, what? Welcome to Fish Town. This is amazing. Oh, look at the whale over there. Uh, welcome to Fishtown. It's a town where everyone says, welcome to Fishtown. <laughs> we got a floating Tetronimo because why not? Actually, welcome to Fishtown is just a recent saying. It dates back to 1992. Fred, shut up. <laughs> oh, I had a weird flashback to Soma there for a minute, just because I'm underwater in 3D, I think. Incredible, this structure must be millions of years old. Or at least uh, since 1992. Uh, glub glub, admire my flukes. Admire them! You have admirable flukes there. What does this pink sign up here say? I tell you what. Yes, we are open. So Fishtown is open, friends. I feel like that alone was important enough for me to share this game with you to let you know. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna keep playing this because I'm really liking it. So uh, in the next episode, we'll do whatever this is. So thanks a lot for watching. I have been and I'll continue to be Kip Icon as long as you friends continue to follow your drams. Bye.